Sometimes you are given fractions with denominators that can be easily changed into one of the decimal place values. In other words, the denominator can be changed into either a 10 or a 100, a 1000, or any other power of 10. Let's take these fractions for example. We are going to convert all three of these fractions into a decimal by first writing an equivalent fraction with denominators that are a decimal place value. Notice the first fraction, 4 fifths, has a denominator of 5 that can be easily changed into the number 10. And the reason we chose 10 is because the tenths place is a decimal place value. Because we doubled the 5, we also have to double the numerator of 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. So we would say that 4 fifths is equivalent to 8 tenths. The tenths place is the first place value after the decimal, so we simply write an 8 in that position. The next fraction, 7 fiftieths, has a denominator that can be changed into the place value 100. We have to double 50 to change it to 100, so we have to do the same thing to the numerator to make the fraction equivalent. If we double 7, that gives us 14. So 7 fiftieths is equal to 14 hundredths, so we can simply write 14 in the hundredths place. Now let's take a look at our last fraction, 12 twentieths. Notice our denominator 20 can be changed into the number 100 or 1000, or we could even fit that into 10,000 equally. However, in this case, it is easier to change it into the number 10 by cutting that denominator in half. And because we had to cut the 20 in half to make 10, we also have to cut the numerator in half, and half of 12 is 6. So 12 twentieths is equivalent to 6 tenths, so we may simply write the number 6 in the tenths place. Sometimes you cannot write an equivalent fraction in order to turn it into a decimal because the denominator cannot be turned into one of the decimal place values. If this happens, you must use division to convert your fraction into a decimal. Let's use the example of 8 fifteenths. 15 is a denominator that we cannot change into the number 10, or the number 100, or the number 1000. In this case, we are going to use division in order to convert this fraction into a decimal. We start by writing the numerator inside the division sign and the denominator on the outside. So now we have the problem 8 divided by 15. Next, we add our two decimals, and then we add our 0 inside the division sign. Next, we see how many groups of 15 can be divided into 80. And we can fit 5 groups of 15 into 80, which is 75. Next, we find the difference of 80 and 75, and that is 5. If you still have a remainder at this point, add a 0 in the next place value under the division sign. So we are going to place a 0 in the hundredths place and then drop that 0 straight down. After dropping that 0 straight down, we go back to our divisor of 15 and see how many times we can divide 15 inside 50. And we can fit three groups of 15 inside 50, which is 45. The difference of 50 and 45 is 5. But notice we still have a remainder. So we may add another 0 to the next place value, which is the thousands place, and then drop that 0 down. But notice that we get a 50 again, as in the previous step. And of course, 15 fits inside 53 times. And we should notice at this point that we are going to have a repeating decimal. In this case, I am going to round this value to the nearest hundredths place. Sometimes you may be asked to round it to the nearest tenths place or the nearest hundredths, and sometimes even the nearest thousandths place, but I'm going to decide to round this decimal to the nearest hundredths place. Rounding to the nearest hundredths place would give us a value of 53 hundredths. So we can say that 8 fifteenths is approximately equal to 53 hundredths. Before dividing 8 by 15, we should have noticed that 8 out of 15 is a value that is a little bit bigger than half. Because half of 15 is 7 and a half, and 8 is a little bit bigger than that, our answer or decimal should be something that is a little bit bigger than half. And if we were to look at 0.53 as it were money or change, we would say that's 53 cents, and that is obviously just a little bit more than half. So our answer in this case is very reasonable. So remember, all fractions can be converted into a decimal by using division, specifically dividing the numerator by the denominator. 
and only some fractions may be changed into decimals by writing an equivalent fraction using a decimal place value for the denominator. So if your denominator can be easily changed into one of the decimal place values such as a tenths, one hundredths place, or one thousandth, then you can easily write an equivalent fraction and then change that fraction into a decimal.